I'm off out. Hey, where are you going? Uh, huh? I'm going off to meet a prostitute. What have I told you about whores? Ah, I don't care. I was talking to her on the phone, right? No way. <laughs> she says, and she says I can meet her every Monday night. <laughs> but whores cost a fortune. Uh, apparently. <laughs> well, I got mine for a flat fee of £52 for 14 weeks. Well, that's a bit pricey. Must be high class. Must have all her own teeth. Yeah. <laughs> for that money, I reckon I'll be able to take me trousers the whole way off. <laughs> uh, so, where are you meeting this goose? Oh, down the night classes. Oh. <laughs> They're doing night classes in it. Yeah. This one says that uh, she teaches prostitutes. She... she must be good. Hold on. She didn't say she was a substitute teacher. Oh, eh. Uh, that's what she said right enough. What, what, what did they do? You feckless gobsheen. You and your female infatuations. Illicit relationships will only end you up in hot water. Surely you've heard the tale of the backdoor man. No. <sighs> Tell us more. Yeah. The new housing development of Go Down and Me Crescent had just been completed and all the new neighbours began moving in. One of the first were Flush and Nula Lavatory. Decorate and love. Not with me blade and back. She I know I'm happier with the remote control than the paintbrush. Flush would say. After a couple of weeks, Nula had most of the decorating done. It was only then that the lavatory's new neighbours arrived on the estate. Let's go round and say hello to our new neighbours, Nula said. Flush wasn't so keen. Ah, feck the neighbours. Once they don't have any dogs dumping on me garden, or children for that matter, we'll get on grand, he said. So, where? Uh, he wasn't a very social animal then. <laughs> no, not really, no. Well, not until he first clasped eyes on his new neighbour, Sheila Feel It. She was a bit of all right. Jesus, we can certainly give her a hand, he thought to himself. Come here. Was she sex on legs, was she? Oh, yeah. Oh. She had the full four oh, courses oh, oh. with tea or coffee and a complimentary mint. <laughs> was she, yeah, uh, 6.5 on the old uh, Rister scale? Absolutely. And Flush had a sudden change of heart. I'm feeling fierce neighbourly, he said to Nula. Let's meet these new neighbours. So they invited themselves in next door. Right. He couldn't keep his eyes off the neighbour's wife. And she didn't seem to mind. During the small talk, it became pleasantly apparent to Flush that his wife Nula and Finn Barfeelit, next door's husband, both worked Saturdays leaving bored housewife Sheila and randy neighbour Flush to their own devices. Oh, eh, uh, I see, yeah. Uh, would uh, Flush be round to mow Sheila's lawn, huh? Plant some seeds, huh? <laughs> Lend her his hose, <laughs> huh? <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, yeah, yeah. As soon as Nuala and Finbar left for work on Saturday morning, Flush was around there like a hot snot. Neither spouse suspected a thing. It was the perfect dangerous liaison. Then one Saturday evening that summer, by coincidence, Finbar and Nula were both getting a half day from their Saturday work. Nula suggested inviting the next door neighbours around for an impromptu barbecue. Nula went in to get some jacket potatoes and returned with a shotgun. Uh, shotgun? Yep. Did she know about the husband and your one? She did, and she was very upset. She said, You bitch! And blew Sheila away. Then she turned her gun on the horny husband, but Finbar intervened. There was a struggle, and Nula let off a second round, killing poor Finbar. Jesus. Then, lucky for Flush, she broke down crying. Jesus, you stupid cow! You've killed the bleeding neighbours! What's the Residents Association going to say? Flush shouted at her as he grabbed the empty gun off her. He left his wife a sobbing wreck. Don't worry, love, I'll explain it to the cops. We'll take it from there. He said. He left her and ran to the cop shop. My wife's gone bleeding, man, and killed the neighbours. The cops arrived at the scene to discover only one body. Sheila's. One body? 
Gee, what's going on? Well, that's what Flush was trying to figure out. All that was left was one body, a gun with only his fingerprints all over it, and his blood-sodden T-shirt. Then his neighbour Finbar and his wife Nula arrived in wearing their work clothes, neither claiming to have any idea what was going on. Jesus! One bullet, one blank, Raj. The judge gave him life imprisonment. But, but it, he was set up. Yeah, and poor Elflush had never thought that his wife and his neighbour would fall in love and plan the perfect murder. Jesus, that's some sting, huh? Yeah. Trouble is, Raj, uh, some people never learn. Flush lavatory is still a back door. But for how? He couldn't get it. You said he got life imprisonment. <laughs> I know he did. Oh, <laughs> that's our man, huh? In the prison, oh, huh? Oh, 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 it doesn't bear thinking it. about. Oh, no, oh, not at all. <laughs> they say you're never lonely in prison. Oh, it's not at all. Not unless you were very stuck. Huh? <laughs>